Hi folks, Armour here and welcome back to the Armoury HD. Now, in the last video I did a bit of a quick unboxing on the Astros A40s and Gen 2s for the play, well, PlayStation, Xbox and all those other platforms. And here behind me you'll see a wall of toiletries, Elgato, PS4 and all that jazz. And the box, you might be wondering what's going to be happening next, is a quick setup not so much a tutorial video as it is a bit of a setup video on how you can get your Astro A40s sound pretty crystal clear on the PlayStation and um, make everything happy. So, first thing that I would advise you to do is you go into your, let me see here, sound and screen on the PlayStation. Hope everything can be seen. I'll also show this on the Elgato um, in part two of this video. Go to audio and display settings, and you can select digital out and bitstream um, Dolby. Then next, and this is just my own personal advice, um, you, when you go into devices and you select audio, you have the option of having chat audio or all audio. Um, now whenever I select all, all audio, everything gets a little bit quieter on the Astros. Now obviously you can adjust this with the uh, presets, but if you go for just chat audio, everything, both chat and all audio, will come through the headset still because the um, the optical cable that's inserted into the back there on the far right hand side as you can see strips the audio so that still plays out the TV to show you an example if I'll, so if we go ahead and up that you can hear the audio coming through the TV if you select all audio it won't come through the TV now if that's what you're looking for fair enough but to show you an example of what I mean I'm going to up the volume of the Astros as you can see, the little mix amp in there, it's going to be bad lighting, so hopefully you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. But essentially, the audio that you can hear there is coming through the Astro's um, individual headset. If I go up and select all audio, shabam, you'll actually notice that it's gotten significantly quieter. So it still does the same thing no matter which one you pick, but the point of this video is to show you how it's set up so I have a USB cable running from the front with my <laughs> still have my Bluetooth for the um, side by side comparison video as well actually let's just have a look um, so that's a side by side and um, the Astros outdo the Sony goals for quality and comfort um, I'm going to do a proper test review of them now but this is just a quick setup um, I'm going to show you exactly what happens. You have the USB um, plugged into the back of the mix amp, as you can see here. So that's the USB. Then you have your optical in cable. And then there's a stream port there. With any uh, earphone style 3.5mm jack, you can plug it into a recording device such as the Elgato. And once again, lighting aside. Um, in the back of there, which is going to be incredibly difficult to see, there's the Elgato with an audio in coming from that 3.5mm jack. The two HDMI's and another USB, and then there's the uh, the chat cable or mute cable, which comes with it, which has its own mute. It's very very nice, and all in all, so far with the testing, everything seems to be working faultlessly. I will be able to show you now um, exactly what I've done to get the audio stripped out for both. So if we unmute this, you'll now hear the audio is coming through on the laptop there. So if I just zoom in here a little bit. The only settings that I had to do was go into the Elgato. And if this thing will actually focus, I think it might be a little bit too bright there. Um, the option is with analog audio. Simply check that along with the rest of your settings that you want to have for your recording device. And hey presto, you've got the audio coming from your optical cable into your mix amp. The mix amp is then distributing the audio from itself there through the front into the Astro a40s and then out the back into the Elgato Some people might be wondering why would you do this? essentially in doing that little bit of a setup With having the audio separate a little bit of messing around with the uh, the mix amp itself the audio presets and then the decibel rating in the Elgato's editing software what this allows you to do is record party chat and your own voice now one final little tip, this is this is the icing on the cake. The screen that you see there in front of you says my inline mic is the PlayStation microphone on the camera. This is not required. I personally did this because what I'm planning to do is use a dedicated microphone 
that I can adjust the decibel levels on the computer. This will allow me to match my voice to the volume of the game and to the volume of my uh, players. Now you can adjust the uh, the split between um, volume for the um, for the chat on the PlayStation soon enough. And certain games already allow you to do that, so you can you can muck around with that. But using the Mixam Pro alone will allow you to do this. For editing purposes, this cuts out a lot of the cable and a lot of the requirements that people have come up with with the splitters and everything else. So it is a bit of a solution. I know I've been looking for one and it's unfortunate that you'll probably have to buy a pair of Astro A40s just for that. Um, you could probably do it with another uh, type of audio splitter or mix amp, but that's kind of the cool solution I found. So for when I'm recording now with a dedicated microphone, I can plug it into the computer and hey presto, everything is exactly as I want it to be. Otherwise, you don't actually need a dedicated microphone because going back to the screen, if you change that to be the Astro's mix amp as well, your friends can hear you because of the mix amp and the Astros. You can hear them because of the mix amp and the Astros. You can hear the game. You've got the audio still coming through the TV. So if you don't want to use the analog in, you can record your um, your your gameplay and the sound from the gameplay using an Elgato. It just means that they won't be able to hear the party chat. That's why you have the analog in cable. I know some people think it's a little bit fuzzy, but if you just mess around with some of the uh, decibel levels, you'd be totally fine. Another tip, you can strip the game audio using a program, using the Elgato program and export it into a editing software like Audacity. I'll touch more on that later, but that's the basics of this. Part two will demonstrate the gaming side of it and what you will hear with the two different setups. The first one will be without the analog audio. The second one will be, will be with. Anyways, bit of a, probably a longer winded video than I wanted it to be, but that's just a brief explanation to the solutions behind recording content with the Elgato with less wires. So this is um, Armour from the Armour HD, and I do thank you very much for tuning in. As per usual, if you get an opportunity to push the thumbs up button, I do appreciate it greatly down from the bottom of my heart. Otherwise, I want everyone on the other end of this camera to have a very good day. And this is Armour out. Catch you after.